everything we've discussed thus far in this course, color management is perhaps the most important and technical topic in digital photography today. But before I delve into the advantages and disadvantages of implementing color management for your very own digital workflow, first let me explain what is color management. Color management is the controlled conversion of color values between various devices such as digital cameras, image scanners, monitors, and photographic printers through the use of color profiles as demonstrated in this diagram. The primary goal is to obtain colors that visually match across each device, which in return gives you, the photographer, consistent results, so that what you see in your camera and on your computer monitor is a close match to that which is displayed in a photographic print. Of course, there are a lot of variables and technical aspects to take into consideration, but the important thing is to remember that there are different levels or degrees of implementing color management in your editing workflow. Now, some photographers may disagree with this statement, but in reality, you may not need an entire color management system in order to get the results that you desire. The degree of color management you choose to apply to your own digital photography is entirely up to you and the amount of time and commitment you're prepared to devote to this topic. Because at the end of the day, photography is an art and color management is simply a means to achieving consistent results that we can rely upon time and time again. So what are the advantages of color management? Well, the two biggest benefits of having a color management workflow is first, establishing an accurate color and tonal representation of the original scene photographed. This is achieved by including a color chart in a test photograph from which you can actually set your white balance, density, and other color values. This process essentially gives you a really great starting point to begin post-processing. And the second biggest benefit with color management is being able to trust in your computer monitor and output profiles to deliver a print that closely matches what you see on the screen. So what are the disadvantages of color management? It's technically challenging. It's very time consuming at first, especially when you're actually configuring and setting everything up. And to do color management properly, you need to invest in a certain amount of equipment and software, which can be very expensive. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the level of color management you wish to implement in your own digital workflow will depend on your level of expertise, how much time you have, and how much money you're willing to spend. But essentially, if you're on a budget, you can actually get away with just using a color chart, a reasonable quality monitor from which you can customize, and a set of manufacturer printer profiles, which in most cases are free to deliver the results that you'd actually be relatively happy with. But if you're looking for more consistent results and like the technical side of color management with regards to calibrating devices, creating your very own output profiles, then you can simply invest in a spectrometer and the accompanying software to sort of get started. I know from first-hand experience that it can be very frustrating printing images that look nothing like that which is displayed on screen. So you definitely need some form of color management in your digital workflow. How much is up to you. Now in the next video, we'll look at Photoshop's color settings and how you can configure them for optimal results.